All right, folks, we're here in Lexington, Alabama at the Center Hill Church of Christ Cemetery. Today we're gonna to do things a little bit different. I'm gonna to to keep this kind of brief. Uh, the the uh, funeral for Vicki White did just finish up. So I'm kind of been hanging around for a while, letting everybody pay their respects and leave and doing everything as respectful as possible. But anyhow, uh, we're gonna do a little walk and talk and I'm gonna tell you all about this and I'll show you the grave there at the end. Y'all stick around. All right, folks, I wanna start out by saying that uh, I did not actually know Vicki personally um, until this story broke. I, I had never even heard of her actually. Um, but my goal here today is to show you the grave, tell you a little bit of information about her and I'm gonna get out of here. I do not wanna be disrespectful to this family in any way. I just wanna cover the story and be gone. That's all I wanna do, okay? So in doing this, I've actually spoke to a few friends of hers in person and online. And um, one thing that I've, I've uh, one consistency that I've seen is that not one person has said anything negative about Vicki. Everybody uh, talks about her as the most loving, caring, kind-natured, giving, selfless type of person. And she never put herself in front of anybody. She always helped the next person. And they said that Vicki was the type of person that everyone could rely on and she was there to help anyone uh, who needed any help at all, you know. Also in this video, I'm not going to mention the uh, last couple weeks of her life. Uh, that doesn't define her in my eyes, okay. The life that Vicki lived, everyone who knew her knew, knew what that life was and it definitely wasn't the last couple weeks. And I want to shine a positive light on Vicki and I want to... Uh, do what she did in her life justice, not just the last couple weeks. So that's all I'm going to say about that, okay? Vicki was born Vicki Sue Davis. She was born in 1965. And uh, one of her friends that I spoke with um, said that she actually lived in Lauderdale County her whole life. Um, I couldn't find anything online that said that but that's uh, actually heard it from a couple different people. So I'm pretty sure that's, that is the truth. But in, 19, in uh, 2002, she married Tommy White. And you know, Vicki never had any children of her own, but she actually ended up divorcing Tommy in 2006. Apparently he uh, had an alcohol issue and a, and a little bit of a drug issue. So, but after the divorce, they did remain friends. Tommy passed away in 2022 of uh, January of 2022 uh, with complications of Parkinson's disease. So Vicki was employed by the uh, Lauderdale County Sheriff's Department as the Assistant Director of Corrections, okay? She served Lauderdale County for 17 years and was a very highly decorated detention officer, okay? In fact, she was the Corrections Employee of the Year five times, including she won that award this year. And I'm filming this video on the date that she was buried and she was set to receive that reward just a, basically within the next seven days from today. Okay. In her last days at work, she had turned in all of her retirement papers and she was set for her final day of work. Okay. She had sold her home on an online auction and at the end of February, told her friends that she'd be going to the beach after retirement and spending some time down there. In her final weeks here in Lauderdale County, she was living with her parents, um, whose home is directly in front of Vicky's house, okay? So on this, uh, on this video here, I'm very much, uh, I have a lot of compassion for her, okay? But, you know, Vicki had a mother, she had a father, and she had siblings, and many friends, okay? And I cannot imagine the feeling 
of what they're going through, okay? Vicky was a caring, loving, giving person to the very end. I hope her family gets the healing that they need, and I'll be praying for them as well as was the friends and everybody, everybody here, okay? A lot of people are emotionally involved in this story, and a lot of people watched it unfold, and a lot of people have their opinions, okay? And right now is not the time for that. Right now is the time to let this lady rest, let her rest in peace, and move on, okay? That's going to pretty much wrap this video up. I'm going to walk over to the grave now and show you all that. And then we'll end it right there, okay? I do want to give one, and I, and I feel like I've, I've said this so much in other videos, and, and I don't mean to uh, demean it at all, but I am praying for Vicky's everlasting soul in this one. It really, really, the story has really Im impacted me. All right, folks, and with that, we're going to go on over to the grave. I'm going to show you all where she's buried at. All right, folks, so that's going to end this one. Okay, it's been a long, long journey, several videos and a lot of miles. And uh, I cannot send enough prayers out to the family, friends, and colleagues of this community. I'm praying for y'all. I hope y'all get the healing that you need. And uh, with that, we're going to wrap this one up. And uh, y'all know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch y'all later. See ya.